Hey everyone, so we've had our first head coach firing of the season this year um, and it took place last night after the Rangers got beat 5 nothing by the Philadelphia Flyers yesterday afternoon. Elaine Vigneault has been relieved of his duties as the New York Rangers head coach. So I just want to talk my thoughts on that, talk about that a little bit. Um, it was time. Um, I don't remember exactly how many years Vigneault has been in New York, it's, but it's been a while now. Elaine Vigneault is a very good NHL coach, but every coach, even the good ones, have a shelf life, and Vigneault's shelf life was up. Um, he's, he's a good coach, but the Rangers are a team that's on the decline. Uh, they obviously had a horrendous year this year. They're used to being a playoff team every year. They weren't even close to that this year. And they're going to have to go through a quick rebuild. Elaine Vigneault is a very good coach, but he is not a coach that I would want to go through a rebuild with. Um, he's better suited to coach a contending team or at least a playoff team, not a team full of young kids who are going to make a lot of mistakes and... Um, you know, have a lot of growing pains as they get adjusted to the NHL. Um, his, his time was just up. The Rangers need a new voice in the locker room. They need a different style of coaching. They need someone who's good with young players, who's going to um, help bring, bring them along and uh, hope to be a contending team in the next, like, three to five years, not this year. And... So if v Vino's not the guy for that, but I don't think he's going to be out of work very long. Um, he's a very, like I said, he's a very good coach, but he's a coach on a for a team that is either a playoff team and needs to take the next step and become a cup contending team, or a team that is just outside the playoffs but almost ready to make in and needs that extra push to become a playoff team and then eventually a contending team. So, my, the first team that comes to mind to where for where Elaine Vigneault could go, the Dallas Stars. Um, I don't know if Dallas is going to fire Ken Hitchcock or not. They, I'm le starting to think that they probably will because they were supposed to be a playoff team this year and they missed out. So... I'm thinking that they're going to try and go a different direction, especially with Hitchcock's age. And Vigneault would be a great coach to bring in there and try and push that team from just outside the playoffs to into the playoffs. Another team that I think he could end up going to, which would be pretty interesting, is how about the Carolina Hurricanes? Now, I know I just said Vigneault's not great with young players and a rebuilding team, but... Carolina's young players, for the most part, have been in the league for a few years now, and they're a team that is looking to take that next step into the playoffs. They missed out on the playoffs this year, but uh, not by a not by a ton. Um, I think Vino could be good enough to push that team into a wild card playoff position. Um, yes, they're a young team. Yes, they make mistakes, but. Um, they're not first-year players. Even even the kids that are only in their early 20s in, in um, Carolina have been in the league like two, three, four years now. So it's not like they're you know really kid kids. So I think that would be interesting if they let Bill Peters go, who he's had a few chances now to get that team into the playoffs and hasn't been able to do it. I think Vigneault would be a very interesting choice to go into Carolina and... Um, take over there and see if he can take that t take the Hurricanes and you know push them to the next step which would be making the playoffs but no matter where he ends up Vigneault is not going to be out of um, out of a job for very long unless he wants to be which he's been an NHL coach for a while now maybe he wants to take a year or two off be with his family and just kind of you know relax a little bit that could that could always be the case but if he wants to coach, there's a job out there for him, and he's going to get one. But I think his shelf life with the Rangers had expired. They need a new voice. He needs a different situation. Um, I don't think the Rangers are going to be good next year or the year after. I think they've got some serious rebuilding to do. 
and uh, he's not the coach that I would go through a rebuild with. He's a good coach for a playoff contending team, but not a bottom feeding rebuilding team. So that's just my thoughts on Vino. I don't think he'll be out of work for very long. He'll get a job somewhere. Um, but it was the right move for the Rangers. So thank you very much for watching. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, follow on social media. Links are in the description. Check out the website offthewallhockey.com. Links in the description. Uh, help spread the word about this channel. We want it to, to keep growing. Um, we're closing in on 50 subscribers. I'll be really, really happy when we get there. So thank you guys again for watching and talk to you soon.